So my name is Bob Goldfarb. I live in New York and I have a place in Florida, which is where I am right now. Um, I did meet Jesse at the New York City Expo and I ran for for um, uh, the Fred's team in honor of my friend's daughter who has just finished chemo and radiation and is uh, now seven years old. Uh, she was first diagnosed at three years old and um, fortunately she was able to get through the medication and she's well now and in recession. So we ran in her honor and um, it, was a, it was a nice run. It was a nice day and I was able to meet Jesse at that point. And I had told Jesse that I was donating my kidney to an unknown person at the time um, uh, in about two weeks. It was about two weeks after uh, the marathon that I was going to do this. That's actually November 29th was the day that ultimately got, got uh, selected. Um, so the reason I did donate was about two years ago from now, um, my friend had donated her kidney and I had taken her home from the hospital after she donated. And obviously she was in discomfort and some pain and, um, and she had told me her experience in the hospital for the previous two days. And it wasn't, it wasn't um, an experience I really thought I wanted to, to go through, but I had thought about it, but she wasn't, she wasn't very comforting to me at the time. But, but as we drove home and she was talking about the experience and as I saw her through her recuperation and her first 5K run and her next 10K run and ultimately a half half marathon and a marathon, I realized that that the effects were going to be um, small and for a short period of time. And I kept thinking about it and spoke to my wife about it. And we thought about it for quite a long time. And I guess about a year or so after I had seen my, taken my friend home from the hospital, um, I made an application or I, I went online to the National Kidney Registry to find out more about it and go through some of their online testing to see if I was even eligible from the start. And they had a series of webinars and programs that I attended and I um, suggested my wife also participate because she quite honestly wasn't really in favor of my donating at uh, at 72 years old she just felt it was more important for me to keep my kidneys and my health <clears throat> than to give away my kidney at this point uh, but she participated in all of the the um, meetings all of the webinars and went to every single test that I had to go through which was extensive gratefully um, and I ultimately became eligible and once I was told I was eligible, it became pretty real that this was going to happen. And um, she was much more in favor of my doing it, or maybe she was less against me doing it. I'm not sure which, but I would say she was about 90% on board at the time. And um, I just kept feeling that that all the research I had done and all the people that I spoke to, that living with one kidney wasn't going to be so difficult. Uh, it wasn't even going to presumably impact anything I had done or anything I'd known about doing. And I spoke to my primary physician as well, who wasn't involved in any of the participants. He didn't even know I was doing this. But when I spoke to him, I found out he was a nephrologist. And um, he spoke to me for about 20 minutes, which was a lot of time for a doctor to speak to me. Um, I never had that much time with a physician. Um, and um, and he he was very, very much in favor of me doing it. He was grateful that I was doing it. And at the end of the conversation, I thanked him for his time. And he said, you don't have to thank me. I should be thanking you for doing what you're doing, that it was a great, uh, a great honor that I was doing this. And um, especially since it was totally altruistic, I had no reason to do it other than hopefully save somebody's life. Um, and at that point, um, I solidified my decision and met with the surgeon. Finally, the last time I met with her was the uh, 
before the surgery it was a week before and we finalized everything had my final blood tests still became eligible and um did the surgery a week later uh she said i would probably be in the hospital two nights uh, but there's a slight possibility I would leave after one night if I wanted to. It was totally up to me. Uh, the surgery went well. I had very, very little pain um, afterwards. I'm sure it was totally medication that uh, that prevented me from having the pain. A little discomfort, but uh, no real pain and um, no nausea, no real bad side effects at, uh, at any point in time. And I was doing so well that the surgeon said I was able to leave the next afternoon, the, the afternoon after the surgery. So um, I was only there one night. I, I went home. It was a little uncomfortable driving home for uh, an hour and a half, but uh, we managed to do that. And I, I was fine. I was only on Tylenol for a week. No other stronger medication than that. And after a week, I was taking and Tylenol maybe once every two or three days for the next week and totally off medication after that. So I felt my experience was really good. And um, my my um, nurse practitioner liaison asked me if I had wanted to meet the um, the recipient. And of course, I had said yes. And they said they would contact the recipient and find out if he was willing or she was willing. I had no idea who it was, um, if if they would be willing to speak with me. Um, my surgeon did tell me the, the day after the surgery that all she knew was the person that I was giving the kidney to was a 75-year-old male who lived in Pennsylvania and was getting the surgery done in New Jersey. Mine was in New York, my surgery. So I didn't know anything about him. And through through a source from the kidney um, kidney registry, my contact there knew knew the recipient's contact um, through through the agency. One lived in the West Coast and one lived on the East Coast. Somehow they knew each other, and they they connected the two of us, realizing when I said my surgery my my kidney was going to Hackensack Meridian Hospital in New Jersey on November 29th, he found out who was getting the surgery and the recipient actually contacted me after I had given permission. And um, he told me that he was extremely grateful and um, we are now eternal friends. And um, he, uh, he is engaged, he's 75 year old individual engaged uh, to be married. He didn't have a date set, but he said to me that my wife and I were going to be the first people that he was going to invite to the wedding, um, that he was that grateful and that the kidney worked immediately upon uh, upon uh, being inserted. And um, he's doing very well. As of uh, last night, I had uh, I communicate with him up until a week ago, it was like every other day we communicated with each other one way or another. And now it's probably every other day. But uh, he had his last tests and his his um, numbers are good. My numbers seem to be good. My last uh, exam. I'm playing golf. I'm not running yet, but I I walked the, uh, the I, I was a coach for, for Walt Disney World Marathon, the uh, Walt Disney World Marathon a few weeks ago. And as a coach, I walked 12 miles uh, the day of the marathon and I felt great afterwards. So I feel like um, I never even gave a kidney away. I don't even know. I hope my kidneys know that I gave one away, but um, but I don't. And the um, my uh, my recipient says that that the part that 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 came from me is is working well for him. And that's really all that I care about at this point and the fact that I'm well. So I guess that's my story. It's this. Yes. It says it says old lefty. It's a little um, kidney leaving with a baggage. It's got my initials, my donor's initials, and the date of the donation. <laughs>